Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today we are going to talk about how your beliefs shape your English journey. So if you believe that learning English is going to be a horrific, very disturbing experience, then it will be like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It will become like that. But if you believe learning English is fun, allows you to connect with people in the world, and you're very positive about it, then of course, it may be a very uh, positive experience for you. Recently, in a blog post over at EnglishVanny.com, that's V-A-A-N-I, EnglishVanny.com, I've been reading an article which is called Why is Spirituality Important in Education? Well, if we define spirituality as a belief system in terms of whether you can do something or not, or what your higher self tells you, then I think spirituality is very important. When you're learning English, what your coaches and teachers tell you is that when you enter the outside world, you'll be getting a better job, you'll be achieving better things because you can speak English. And this is very common for everyone who does courses. They come out of them with words like dreams, ambitions, with more confidence, and they have these ideas about what they can achieve and what they don't want. They're in the outer world, and as this article says, with competition in mind, and they're not really wanting to accept anything lower. You have to be quite egotistical to really head for that goal and get it. Most of us end up satisfied with what we have, but unfortunately, that satisfaction is not for everyone, and they tend to kind of push, sometimes in the wrong direction. I think what's good about belief systems and examining them is that if you have a good teacher, they can kind of guide you what the world is like, especially the English world. And they can teach you really how to deal with failures and stress that perhaps uh, might not be available to you otherwise. I firmly believe that those who are very successful in learning English often take time out to meditate. I'm not talking about any kind of big belief in a higher being. I'm simply talking about uh, this idea of finding solitude in the things that you like to do. I think many saints around the world have said things like, in solitude you find your higher being. Perhaps that's true, but it's not only him you find, you find more energy and you find more purpose to push ahead. We all have noticed how mental problems influence students' minds. Small minds struggle with problems like stress and anxiety, and we really get that from our childhood. Anxiety is a common mental health condition that can make it difficult to function day to day for students. It can be even worse for children. A practice of spirituality, for example, meditation, can help you connect with your own inner wisdom and help you find peace and calm. It can also help you connect with your real feelings and connect with other people. I really do recommend that to all English learners. You don't have to rush away to sit on top of a mountain, 
but you do have to take time out to think about why your life is so busy and why running around and including learning English is absolutely vital because in an exam setting most of what you're going to recall will only be recalled if you're in a state of calm. Spirituality helps students to find meaning of life and it really does benefit them. You don't need to have all the answers about what a higher being is, but it would be good if you at least explored how you connect with your higher self. It's my personal view that those people who are most successful at learning English are the most balanced. And every now and then, all of us need to have a look at our days and the things we're doing and ask the question, well, is this really bringing value and purpose into my life? And if it's not, there may be a bigger question there. I'm not saying that learning English should always be fun, fun, fun. Certainly it can be very challenging, but we must never lose sight about why we're doing it. And the reason why we're doing it should be to bless humanity. That's all from me for today. See you.